called Enhanced Summons, and it enables the car to drive itself to pick up its owner. The KPI X5's Devin Feely found out this new technology doesn't always work as designed. Devin? Yeah, that's exactly right. It's been out less than a week, but there are already reports of crashes, near misses, and software glitches, all involving a feature that some say simply isn't ready for the road. Tesla CEO Elon Musk boasted on Twitter that the smart summons feature had been used more than a half million times in the first few days it was available. I wasn't sure if it was going to stop. But not always successfully. Tesla owners have posted videos of their cars freezing up, seemingly overwhelmed by the number of potential obstacles in their path, or driving on the wrong side of the road, or cutting through a gap in parked cars to reach their owner. It is not quite ready yet. It is not safe for the regular person on the road. San Jose State University engineering professor Fred Perez says the new feature is yet another example of Tesla beta testing its technology on the public. You might be able to do this on your own campus. You might be able to do this at a deserted location. But if you're talking about the parking lot of a big shopping mall, I think uh, you're playing with danger. Tesla owners blasted the technology on social media. One tweeted, the Tesla enhanced summon drives on the wrong side of the road the whole time. Total fail. Another writing, enhanced summons failed, drove into the parking structure pole. We tried to test the new feature ourselves using fellow reporter Kit Doe's Tesla. The problem wasn't that it didn't work as advertised, but rather that it didn't work at all. And after an hour of troubleshooting, we simply gave up. If there's problems in the programming, I would say that it needs to go back and get cleaned up a bit before it's just out there for anyone to use. We reached out multiple times to Tesla for comment, but they didn't respond. But drivers we spoke to said the company should hit the brakes on technology that just doesn't seem road ready yet. If I were to pull up next to a, a car without a driver, I would go the opposite direction. I would, I would look at it for a minute, maybe take a picture, but I wouldn't go near it. Um, I don't trust it at all. What about state and federal regulators? Basically, the California DMV says they don't consider this to be a fully self-driving car because basically the driver retains some control over the vehicle by using their phone. So as a consequence, Tesla didn't need and didn't get any special permission to put these cars with this feature on the roads that we all share. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX5. Emerging technology. We're watching it as it plays out. Devin, thank you for that.